Hello, welcome to Crypto University. In today's video, we will talk about the deployment of ERC20 tokens and how to provide liquidity to a decentralized exchange. My name is Roger, instructor at Crypto University, and I hope you enjoy this video. Before we deploy our ERC20 token and provide liquidity for it, let's see first what is actually a decentralized exchange. A decentralized exchange is a kind of cryptocurrency exchange which operates on the blockchain. It's different to a centralized exchange where we have a central single entity which controls the trades. So you can imagine it like that. A DEX is actually just a smart contract on the blockchain which automatically controls swaps between two different tokens. And these tokens which we want to swap on, the, on EVM chains, we are using the ERC20 standard. Decentralized exchanges normally use liquidity pools for their token swaps. In centralized exchanges, we normally have an order book where we have people that want to sell an asset and people that want to buy an asset. And when their offers match, the transaction is settled. In decentralized exchanges, we use automated market makers. This means that everything is done automatically. You can just go there, you can give your token and you can grab out the other token which you want to buy. And you might think now, how does this work? It works a little bit different depending on the decentralized exchange that you are on. But in general, you have normally two different tokens. So a pair of tokens within a pool. You can imagine like a swimming pool. You have liquidity for one token and you have liquidity for another token. The amount of liquidity of each token that you have defines the price between this token pair. So imagine we have Ethereum and we have USDC, for example. And when we have 2000 USDCs here and one Ethereum here, it means that one Ethereum costs around 2000, a little bit less USDCs. And now when somebody want to buy one token, this ratio changes. And this means the price changes as well. So let's say you want to buy Ether and you put in USDC on one side. So USDC, the liquidity increases, you take out Ether on the other side. So Ether decreases and then we have less Ether. We have more USDCs, meaning that the price of Ether will go, go up because we have a new share between these two tokens. And now we have actually two different users for such a liquidity pool. We have one user that makes this swap. So that just want to swap the token, right? He's kind of using the liquidity pool. And we have another user which provides liquidity. So in such a contract, we need to have from both tokens, we need to have enough liquidity to fulfill the swaps of the users. And these are called liquidity providers. Liquidity providers, as they give tokens to the pool, providing liquidity, they also get a reward. And this reward is normally done by swapping fees. So when somebody want to swap, he gets a little bit less of the other token. And this little bit less goes to the liquidity provider as a reward that he provides his tokens for this service. What are examples of decentralized exchanges? On the Ethereum mainnet, we mainly have Uniswap, which is the biggest player, but we also have SushiSwap or Curve Finance. They work a little bit different to Uniswap. On the BNB chain, we have PancakeSwap. This is the, the biggest player there. It's mainly a fork of Uniswap. And we have BuySwap, which is also a fork of Uniswap. And for perpetuals trading, we have DYDX. They offer derivatives and other financial instruments. And we have Kine, uh, which is kind of similar to this protocol. Let's deploy our 
newly created ERC20 token and let's try to provide liquidity on Uniswap such that people can actually start to trade our token in a decentralized way. Welcome back to the deployment of our ERC20 token and the providing of the liquidity to Uniswap, a decentralized exchange. I'm here back in Remix with our super token, which we have created in the last video and which is actually just a copy of the ERC20 token from Open Zeppelin. We have set the name and the symbol and how many tokens we would like to mint. I also have set up MetaMask with 0.5 girly ether, girly test network connected. So that's a test network which we can use and which we will use to deploy our contract and provide liquidity on it. When I go to the deploy section, we can actually deploy our ERC20 token. Before we have used the environment Remix virtual machine, which is just a virtual machine in the browser, but now we really want to deploy it on the blockchain. So what we use is we use the injected provider. This connects directly to MetaMask and injects our account to this. So we see here the AB4 is now here and we have 0.5 Ether available. This will then directly send the contract to the Girly network and it will be mined and then our ERC20 token is deployed. We see we have no compiled contracts yet, so let's go to the compiler and compile our super token. Everything good, it compiled well and we have now our super token available for deployment. And we just press deploy MetaMask pops up, we can confirm that and we sign the transaction which goes to the blockchain now and it takes a moment such that it's mined and then it's deployed. Here we are, it deployed successfully. We can see here in the deployed contracts we have everything as we had before but that's now on Girly. We can copy the contract address. Let's go to girly scan, which is ether scan for the girly network, which indexes each block and we can search for all the addresses and what's going on on the blockchain. So we can see here, we deployed 35 seconds ago this contract. We have already a token tracker available as we have implemented the ERC20 standard, Etherscan knows that this standard is a, is, a, is, a, is a fungible token which index everything correctly. So we can go here, we see we have a maximum total supply of 100. Um, we have a holder, that's our account which minted these 100 tokens and everything is fine. The next step is now to go to Uniswap Let's close that and we launch the app of Uniswap and as we are connected to Girly on MetaMask, we are directly connected to Girly ETH on Uniswap. So we see here the balance that we have in Ethereum and let's say we want to now swap 0.2 to our token. What was our token address? It was here, we paste it in, we see the super token and let's see what is the price of this token. We have insufficient liquidity for this trade. Obviously we didn't provide any liquidity to Uniswap yet. So that's the thing that we need to do right now. So let's go to pools, we create a new position. We use ETH as one pair and we use our super token as the other one. So we have one pair of ETH and our super token for the liquidity pool. 
we will add a fee tier which says how high is the fee for a, for a swap of our token which will get the liquidity providers let's choose 0 0.3 and then let's change here to this one to change the pair and we would like to have a price of 0 0.01 that means 0 0.01 ether will be one of our super token we need to set a price range because we can concentrate liquidity just in one price range but we would like to have the full range so we put zero and we put a really really big number here uh, that was not enough I will show you if you put a more big number then you have infinity here so you have from zero to infinity in all the price range you would like to provide liquidity and now we can deposit how many tokens we would like so let's say 25 so we have 25 of our token and to fulfill this price we need to also add 0 0.25 ether around we need to approve the token that's exactly the step to we need to grant access to the contract to the liquidity pool that he can take from us the token our super token that's why we need to approve it first we use default we approve it and now we need to wait until the transaction is accepted and after that we will be able to provide liquidity that's it let's show preview everything fine fit here we will we will add this much liquidity to the pool and we just add it and we sign the transaction again we need to wait until the transaction is submitted and mined into the blockchain and after that the liquidity is done that's it you can see now we have a new position and that's our position we see how much liquidity we have and we see our fees um, that will be generated when people start to swap our token the current price of the token and we have successfully provided liquidity into uniswap if i come back now here to the swap page and i choose our super token let's say i want to buy our super token with 0.01 ether it will fetch the new price of our liquidity pool and we can swap it how we would like what we see here is price impact is too high that means there is kind of a warning from uniswap because we don't didn't provide too much liquidity into that pool and when when you want to swap you get a price impact as this ratio changes a lot you really you really suffer from price impact so let's use a little bit less let's use 0 0.01 that's better and we can now swap this ether to our token confirm and the transaction is pending and the liquidity provider that is just sitting here that provide this liquidity will get a little bit more ether now and will get a little bit less sp tokens and he will get some fees uh, from this swap now it's done and we see this changed and we collected some fees it's 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 really really little but we can see that there is some fees entered for ethereum and we could collect these fees also when we have an erc20 token in metamask we can import this token here so let me just quickly copy the token address let's open metamask import tokens paste the address we see the the symbol and the decimals and we can just add the token and import it and we see 
that we have 75 SP token on the wallet. The rest is provided as liquidity in the Uniswap pool. So let's come back here to the page of our token. Let's refresh it and we can see when we go to holders, we have now another holder which is a contract which holds around 25 of our super token. And we go, when we go here, we can realize, um, when we go to this address, we can realize that this is actually a Uniswap V3 pool. It contains this super token and it contains some wrapped ether. And this is actually the liquidity pool, which is done and which can be used to swap these two tokens. Let's summarize this lesson. We have successfully deployed our ERC20 contract. Then we went on to providing liquidity on Uniswap. And then we could see that it, we could successfully swap our token on this decentralized exchange. And this can now be done by everyone. Thank you.